hi guys welcome to my video on this video i'm going to show you how to write a real-time circular detection within a video streams this code that we're going to write can be adapted into various applications such as quality control object tracking interactive applications that involves a real-time analysis of circular shapes within a video streams so without wasting any time guys let's dive in okay guys on this tutorial you're going to need a external webcam or a webcam for your uh, on your laptop if it's working correctly then what you need to do you need to have a software called a PyCharm on your software or if you don't have just watch a video where I show how to install a software PyCharm software you go to file then you go down you say settings then you go down then you see a project it's a written project here should be a different name project then you uh, have a, your, your name the way you name your project so it's go to project then you click there then you say python interpreter and click on python then you click on that icon plus then you type OpenCV for Python or OpenCV dash Python. Then you install. Then when it's done, then you go to type NumPy, you type my NumPy, then you install. Then it's done installing close. Then you say OK. Make sure they are all of the NumPy, OpenCV Python. So you OK. Then we start with the program. Then we start with the libraries. The first thing that we do, we import the libraries. You say import OpenCV. CV2. Say import NumPy SNP. Then you import time. Then the second step, we configure camera and frame parameters. So then we have a camera uh, for the webcam. We use zero, uh, the one that in, is attached to your, to your uh, laptop is zero. Then when you are using an external one, then you say one, you say one, so you see I'm going to type camera device ID, then I'm going to create it to any number of my choice. So zero is an internal camera, then uh, one is for the external one. Then we're talking about the, the frame parameters here. So we're going to have an image width uh, and the image height. So start with the image width. So I'm going to equate it to 320. The image height, I'm going to make it 240. The image height. It's almost like length by breadth. Okay. Then we're going to include uh, the FPS. This is a variable, equate it to zero. Then we're going to come up with the function to set the camera properties. Function to set the camera properties. So for, for the function, you start with def, D-E-F. Say def. It's when you do uh, function you start the function then you know that that's a function
that's it that I comma width and cap that set for comma height then another function it's a, a function to capture a frame from the camera is the function to capture a camera from the frame so it's a function also that we say that's why we say dev capture frame inside we put cap cap is for capture This one is the if statement. Then uh, let's say your camera is not working, or the web, I'm talking about the webcam if it's not working or it doesn't detect the external one. So it will show a message. So we need to create a, a, a message, an error message say uh, fail to read the frame from the camera so remember if we, we need a webcam for, for this project or uh, the external camera it doesn't matter but if it doesn't detect both of them then we need to have a message to show that it doesn't detect so we can say fail to read a frame from the camera Then we have another function that we need to write, the function to detect circles using a whole transformation. Some transformation is a circle is a is a function to detect um, circles. So meaning we're going to have two frames, the original frame. The other frame is to detect a uh, camera. I mean, it's to detect circles. So about that. So the yeah we take circles using that transformation by tender circles again so And another uh, function is a function to process a frame. Function to process to process a frame. We go into uh, blur, then we convert uh, convert the frame to grayscale for detecting circles. So we'll see. Then I'm going to have two frames attached to each other. The other one is the original. 
the other one is uh, a processed, a processed one where we're going to detect uh, our circles not just one circle in, in, in a frame we're going to detect multiple uh, circles Okay guys, what, what's gonna happen right now, I'm, I'm just gonna uh, speed up, I'm going to fast forward uh, because um, you can just, uh, if you want to have the code, just uh, there's a code uh, in the bio, in the description, then you can download the code, then if you have a uh, PyCharm, just uh, paste that code uh, on the on the PyCharm so make sure it doesn't give you errors if it gives you errors please uh, comment in, in the in the comment uh, section then I'll respond or I'll put, update the code but definitely it, it, it's working this code so uh, it's working so this is uh, part one of the video so I'm just just writing the code then, uh, then the second part is whereby we're going to show you how this code can do. So I'm just gonna fast forward uh, the, the, the video. So if you're interested in writing the code, so you need to uh, stop, uh, pause the video and just write the code or just download the code uh, in the description section.